So hi dear Leo, a very very good evening to you guys. This is Anjali Tarot and this is a general love reading for all the Leo Sun Moon Venus rising. Keep in mind this is general. It might or might not resonate with you at the first place. The second thing, the roles can be reversed also. Third thing, this is a reading from 27th of November till the 3rd of December. And this reading is valid for every 12th sign that you are dealing with along with your own sign. So let's start your person or your partner's current feelings for you. Right now at this present moment, let's see Leo what's happening. We have the eight of wands. Leo, someone feels like talking to you, like uh, having a proper conversation with you, for like a face-to-face -face conversation with you, like a lot of communication. Okay, if there's some kind of communication gap between you guys, this person feels like uh, talking it out. Let's clarify. Let's get the clear picture. Might be communication is the problem between you guys. Okay, miscommunication is happening or no communication or something like that. Maybe let's see. Okay, we have the ten of wands, three of wands, and the seven of wands. Yes, communication is the biggest issue between you guys. This person feels like dropping the burden, some kind of energies and they're waiting for this kind of blockages uh, to be removed so that they can communicate with you. Now, might be you have blocked them or might be they themselves have blocked you. Now they're realizing that this situation is not going to uh, like resolve itself until unless you guys are going to communicate properly in this situation for whatever reason. To be honest, I don't see love from this person's side. I do see this urge of venting out everything in front of you so that they can be relieved or so that they can get, uh, get a proper closure might be in the situation. Let's proceed further and let's see what's happening. Let's see from your side what we have. What do you feel about this particular person or situation from your side, Leo? Nine of Swords, you can't sleep at night thinking about something or someone continuously. You're losing your sleep, you're creating scenarios in your mind and hurting yourself mentally like not at peace might be not because of that this particular person or situation might be something else is going on in your life that's keeping you like awake at night let's clarify the nine of swords here we have the queen of cups and the ace of cups and the eight of cups it's like you're fed up of love and relationship. You feel like, okay, uh, you are in this energy of self-healing, self-care, self-love. Everything is perfect according to you, inside of you. You are uh, like coming to this peaceful kind of energy. of, so, okay, this is my life. This is the truth. And how uh, this is how I'm going to handle it. But when it comes to love and relationship, you feel like, okay, I should walk away from everything and everyone. Even if it is a new person or a past person because you have had enough regarding love and relationship in the past. So you feel like, okay, working on yourself, being with yourself is a good thing to do. At the same time, you're restless, you're impatient. Something is keeping you up at night. Might be it's not love and relationship, but you are very much overwhelmed with the kind of energies you are going through right now at this present moment. And the more you're trying to be at peace, the more it's giving you this kind of energy of you need more time to be relaxed. You, you, you need more time to relax. You need more energy to relax. So it's making you impatient. You are being overly logical here. Something is making you overly logical. Okay. Your energies are kind of disturbed right now. Yep. On the exterior, you are enjoying life. You are making everybody feel like you are at peace. You are happy. Blah, blah, blah. Inside of you, something is uh, like uh, still bothering you a lot. And you can't sleep at night thinking about it. Let's see what this person wants from you. What are their intentions for the situation between you and them? Five of Swords. This person wants to let go of the ego, the manipulation, the mind games. Okay, uh, whatever the blockages are between you and this particular person, they want to remove those blockages. Plus, they want to let go of the mind games, the scenarios that you guys are creating in the situation. This person wants to like clarify each and everything to you, especially if it is regarding a third party kind of a dynamic or some kind of uh, toxicity that's going on between you guys. Let's clarify the five of swords here. We have the Knight of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, the Strength card. This person wants you, this person wants to show you that they're single. What? They want to assure you that they're single and they have changed their on and off, in and out kind of ways. They are no longer a player. They are very much focused on money, job, career. They are very much focused on stability. They want to show you that they have changed. And they're not no longer egoistic. They're no longer playing mind games. They're no longer lying to you or manipulating you or cheating you on you or something like that. See, this person wants to prove to you that they have changed a lot. And they're no longer the same person as they used to be. 
so everything is different according to them everything have changed and you should just look at the like look at them that how changed they are now how much like they have changed because of this situation because of this connection between you and them wow let's see what do you want from this particular person or situation from your side leo You just want to keep your things to yourself. You you just want to keep your emotions, keep your things, keep your everything that's going on within yourself to yourself. You're like, okay, let me take my time. Let me talk to myself. Let me be at peace. Let me be at uh, like uh, uh, patience. Let's clarify the hermit. We have the wheel of fortune, the queen of pentacles, the fool card. It's like you don't want to take any kind of risky decision in your life. You just want to take things really very, very slow. See, the first thing is you want to surrender to the divine. You're like, okay, whatever is meant for me or whosoever is meant for me is going to come to me eventually. I don't have to take any kind of risky decisions or I don't have to take any kind of risk for love and relationship. So let me be at peace and let me stay with myself. This is what you want. You, you just want to stay with yourself. You just don't want to take any kind of risky decisions or risky kind of, uh, uh, you know, connections or relationships, situations, kind of thing from your side. No, you're like, okay, let me be at peace. Let me be at stable kind of energies. Let me be in mature and grounded kind of energies. So whatever is meant for me is going to come to me. It's like you are attracting. You're not chasing. This is what you are up to right now. Hmm. Okay. And you are forgiving and forgetting whatever happened between you and a certain person or people, lots of people around you hurted you in some way, shape or form. So you are like, okay, let me forgive them. Let me release them and let me be with myself first. And then let me focus on my energies. Let me focus on attracting and creating my like world rather than begging or chasing or running behind anything or anyone. Let's see what's uh, like uh, coming towards you in love till the 3rd of December, Leo. We have the knight of swords. I do see you running away from a situation, running away from something or someone because you think it's not good for you anymore or your logical side is telling you to run away from something or someone might be. Let's clarify. Let's see. Knight of swords. In this particular deck, this person is running away from a situation hmm? because they think it's negativity. It's, it's, it's shitty. So they should run away. Wow. Wow. See, the thing is that you're manifesting happiness. You're manifesting, in some cases, you're manifesting reconciliation. In some cases, you're manifesting this kind of uh, releasing uh, of like negative energies, negative people, negative situations out of your life. Okay. So whatever you're trying to manifest, you're running in the exact opposite direction of your manifestation. So for example, if you're going to say to me, Anjali, I just want to forgive and forget and move ahead. You are not able to forgive and forget and move ahead. Because you know this is the only thing that's going to bring you the happiness that you want. Even though you might be thinking you are doing it right. Obviously you might be doing it right. There's nothing wrong or right in forgiveness. But you're not able to do that. You're manifesting a rebirth for yourself. But for, the, for that rebirth, you want to be happy. You want to be genuinely happy. You should be genuinely happy. But when happiness is coming, you're closing the doors by saying, okay, it's not happiness. It's going to hurt me. You are not able to feel the happiness because your belief system is telling you that nothing on earth is going to make you happy. Everyone around there is to hurt you. So the outcome is telling me that you are manifesting the second chance for yourself, for a rebirth, for a new Leo. And you just want to be happy with yourself. But the moment happiness is entering in your life, you are running away from that. Because you feel this person, this situation, this uh, like whole scenario, this whole uh, universe is against my happiness. So... Let me run away from this and let me be with uh, myself and let me be in my shell. Your belief system is such that you can't feel happiness even if it is uh, like it is in right, uh, right in uh, front of your eyes. So you manifesting a rebirth, you manifesting a new life is not going to happen until unless you are going to feel the pain, the happiness and everything from your heart and soul. Okay, let's see the guidance for you guys. Leo, just feel it, just feel it, don't run away from it, okay, even if it is small, like a very, very little things giving you happiness or if, even if it is something big, you are scared of happiness, don't do that honey, on one hand you are telling me, okay, I am manifesting a new life, I am manifesting, I am attracting, I am not chasing, on other hand you are like, okay, bye, 
I don't want anything or anyone. Bye. So for you, the guidance here is try to see things from a different perspective. Whatever lessons, whatever wisdom, whatever experience you have gained till now and till this point of your life, it doesn't mean that you always have to like uh, take it as a negative kind of lesson. Take it as a like uh, energy of okay, not every not uh, like everything is out there is to hurt me. Everything out there is to get me. It's not like that. Follow your passion. Keep yourself happy. Ups and downs, highs and lows are a part of life, Leo. It is a phase. Might be this phase is like uh, like uh, happening with you from past, let's say five six years. I I I I know that it happens. It's not your life. It's a phase. Happiness is a state of mind and it's a choice. If you are manifesting a rebirth, if you are manifesting happiness, if you are manifesting good things, why the hell are you running away from that then? Running away means whenever you are a little bit of happy, whenever a little bit of happiness is coming, you are getting scared. And when you are getting scared, you are manifesting uh, negativity with that much intensity that it comes into the 3D reality. And then you become like, okay, I knew it. I knew it. I told you. Come on. You have to reprogram your mind for happiness. You have to reprogram your mind for this kind of energy of, okay, happiness exists. I deserve happiness. I am happiness. That kind of uh, reprogramming you need to do. It's going to take a lot of time for you. But don't try, try to run away from the emotions, whether it's happiness, whether it's sadness, whether it's depression, whatever it is, whatever you're feeling. Once you're going to acknowledge that this is what I'm feeling right now at this present moment. And once you're going to accept it, it will start dissolving naturally. But don't run away from your own manifestation. Don't do that. Please. Okay. So thank you so much for tuning in, Leo. I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye-bye. Take care. God bless you. Namaste.